메리 크리스마스! 12월 세 번째 주일은 크리스마스 주일이에요. 오늘 크리스마스 주일을 맞이해서 온라인으로 예배를 드리는 친구들을 주님의 이름으로 환영합니다. 이제 예배 드리기 전에 기도할 건데요. 전도사님이랑 같이 기도해 주세요. 두손 모으고 눈 감고 고개 숙이고 기도하겠습니다. 하나님 이렇게 멋있고 예쁜 친구들이 하나님께 예배 드리려고 이 자리에 나왔어요. 오늘은 특별히 성탄주일인데 이 세상에 오신 아기 예수님을 만날 수 있도록 이 예배 시간 주님이 인도해 주세요. 예수님의 이름으로 기도합니다. 아멘 
당신을 축복해요 하나님께서 주신 그 사랑으로 당신을 축복합니다 고난 당한 것이 내게 유익이라 이로 말미암아 내가 주의 윤례들을 배우게 되었나이다. 시편 119편 71절 말씀 아멘. It was good for me. to be afflicted so that I might learn your decrees. Psalm 119.71 Amen! All right, awesome! Great job with Worship Kingdom, kids! That was amazing! I hope everyone is doing well. Hello to everybody watching. My name is Pastor June, also known as Pastor Juice. And I'm here today because I'm here to give you guys the message of the Word of God. You know what that means? That means it's Bible time! Woohoo! And before we go into Bible time, there's a couple of warm-up exercises that we do at eKinder or KDC Kinder. Are you guys all ready to join in with me on this warm-up exercise? Awesome! I know there's other kids and other students listening at home and watching at home from other ministries, but here's a little thing that we do. The first warm-up is called our ooh -wee's. 
Ooey is when we open our eyes, ears, and hearts. Okay, so on a count of three, we're gonna yell out ooey very loud. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Ooey! Yes, awesome! So let's open our eyes really big. Everybody open your eyes. Very good. Now, everybody open up your ears. Woohoo! I know some of us look like monkeys right now, right? Yes, good job. And lastly, we're going to open up our hearts. So everybody try to open up your hearts. Hmm, that's weird. We can't open up our hearts, right? How can we open up our hearts? Oh, that's right. We have to pray. And so at this time, let's pray to God because God is the only one who can open up our hearts for the word of God. Okay, are you guys all ready? So let's put our hands together, close our eyes, bow our heads, and we're going to pray. Awesome. Dear God, thank you so much for this Christmas Sunday. We're so excited to hear your word and learn more about you. We thank you that Jesus, you are our greatest gift. And as we go into the word, I pray that you will open up our eyes, open up our ears, and most importantly, open up our hearts. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Awesome. Great job, Kingdom Kids. And now we're ready to go in and jump right into the word of God. Are you guys ready? Yes. Awesome. So on the count of three, let's jump into the word, okay? Ready? One, two, three, jump! Woo! -hoo! Awesome! So, Kingdom Kids, let me ask you a question. Who knows which holiday is coming up very, very soon? Yes, that's right. It's Christmas. Woohoo! Everybody loves Christmas. Raise your hand if you like Christmas. Yes, awesome! Now, let me ask you this question, can the kids? Why do you guys like Christmas? What's so good about Christmas? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. It's about the gifts, right? Who loves the gifts that you receive at Christmas? Me? I know Pastor Juice does. <laughs> That's right, Christmas is a season, it's a day where we get a lot of gifts, right? But you see, Kingdom Kids, think about the best gift that you've ever received. Maybe it was last Christmas or the Christmas before, or maybe it's something that you want this Christmas. Think about it and think about what it is, and why don't you share it with your brother or sister or your mom and dad near you? Yeah, awesome. You see, Pastor Juice also has something he really, really wants. You know what that is? Yeah, you see, when Pastor Juice was your age, I wanted a lot of Pokemon cards. Who knows what Pokemon is? Yeah, you see, I really wanted that for Christmas. But you see, Kingdom Kids, today we're going to learn about something or someone that is better than any Pokemon cards or any gift that you can even imagine. That's right. And so, are you guys ready to read the word, read God's word today? Yes, awesome. So if you are ready, please turn to Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. That is Luke chapter 2. Verses 1 through 7. So here is the word of God. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinus was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. 
She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. Amen. Awesome. Kingdom Kids. Now, does anyone know who this passage is talking about? That's right. It's Jesus. You see, this passage is talking about how Mary and Joseph gave birth to a baby. And this baby was supposed to save everyone from their sins. And this baby's name was Jesus. Yes. And you see, I talked about the greatest gift of all time. I told you to think about something that is the best gift that you can ever imagine. And you see, today I'm here to tell everyone that Jesus is the greatest gift. You see, Jesus is the one that saves us from sin. And we all know that sin is very bad. You see, sin is so bad that because of sin, we were separated from God. And if we are separated from God, we're not able to be with God. And when we can't be with God, we go through something called death. And death is a very scary thing sometimes. But you see, there's no need to be afraid. Because God sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ. And when Jesus Christ came to this earth, we have this opportunity to be saved from sin. You see, the Bible tells us that Jesus is the one that's going to rescue us from sin. And he's the one that died for us on the cross so that we could be with him forever and ever. And so when we're with God forever and ever, that means we don't experience death. We have eternal life with Him. And so there's no need to be afraid, kingdom kids. You see, when our time on earth is done, we get to be with God forever and ever. Isn't that awesome? And so that is why, kingdom kids, the greatest gift that we can ever receive is not Pokemon cards, it's not our toys, it's not yummy food, but it's Jesus Christ. Jesus is the best gift. And so I pray for all of our friends listening and watching at home that as Christmas approaches, that we will remember who our greatest gift is. And I'm not saying not to enjoy all the gifts that you receive at home, because that's awesome. But remember, Jesus is the greatest gift. And we all can have Jesus, because Jesus loves you. And so, Kingdom Kids, this Christmas, I want all of us to thank God. Thank Jesus for the amazing gift that he has given to us. The gift that Jesus died on the cross for our sin so that he could save you and I. Awesome. And so that wraps up our sermon time today. But I want us to do our main point. And this is the main point or main theme that we do at eKinder. So I want all of you guys to follow along with me, okay? All right, here are the motions. It goes like this. Jesus is the hope, hope, hope of the world. That's right. Jesus is the hope of the world. And so, Kingdom Kids, I hope you remember that because of Jesus, we're able to have eternal life with Him, and that is the greatest gift. All right, great job, Kingdom Kids. I hope you have a merry, merry Christmas. I know I will from all the pastors and all of our church. We wish you a merry Christmas. And remember, who is our greatest gift? That's right, it's Jesus Christ. All right, and so let's pray and we'll end our Bible time for today. All right, let's pray. 
Dear God, thank you so much for showing us that you are our greatest gift. As Christmas approaches, we want to have fun, we want to celebrate and receive a lot of gifts, and that's a good thing. But I pray that we will never forget that you are our greatest gift. We love you so much. We thank you. I pray that you will keep us, all of us, safe and remind us that, Jesus, you are the hope of the world. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Kingdom Kids, I hope you guys have a safe and Merry Christmas. Goodbye.친구들, 지금은 헌금 기도 드리는 시간이에요. 다 같이 두손 모으고 기도 드릴게요. 사랑해 하나님, 감사합니다. 우리 친구들이 귀한 말씀을 듣고 하나님께 감사드리는 마음을 가득 담아서 귀한 예물을 올려드립니다. 우리를 구원하기 위해 이 땅에 오신 아기 예수님을 찬양하며 이 드리는 귀한 예물을 주님께서 기쁘게 받아주시고 하나님의 나라 위에 아름답게 쓰임받게 도와주세요. 감사드리며 예수님의 이름으로 기도드립니다. 아멘 Alright, you guys did a great job today. 우리 친구들 정말 잘 했습니다. The Christmas is coming soon. 아, 성탄절이 곧 다가오죠. 이번 주지요. 우리 친구들, 우리 친구들 함께 교회 나와서 우리 부모님과 함께 예배 드릴 수가 있어요. Uh, you guys come come church together with your parents as a celebrate the Jesus birthday. 우리 친구들 uh, 성탄 예배에 함께 오셔서 예수님 탄생을 축복하며 축하하며 함께 예배했으면 좋겠습니다. Let's close the worship with a prayer and a benediction. Let's pray together. 기도합시다. 사랑해 하나님 감사합니다. 우리 친구들 오늘 말씀 마음속에 새기게 하시고 그 말씀 따라 살게 하시옵소서 하나님 성탄절이 다가옵니다 우리 친구들 마음속에 우리 가정들에게 성탄이 주는 기쁨이 넘칠 수 있도록 도와주세요 uh, Bless us all the family and our children So give us a rejoice and joy uh, Joyful mind with Christmas We love you, we worship you, we follow you uh, We pray in Jesus name, Amen 지금은 우리를 죽기까지 사랑하셔서 아기 예수님으로 오신 예수 그리스도의 은혜와 하나님 아버지의 크신 사랑하심과 성령 하나님의 함께 하신 그 은혜가 우리 친구들과 우리 부모님들 가정들마다 지금부터 영원토록 함께 하시기를 간절히 축원합니다. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of our Father God and fellowship of Holy Spirit be with you forever more. Amen. Thank you.